Hey everyone, and welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Phil Richards. In today's video, we're going to be going through the Gainsland's test. This is a special test for sacroiliac dysfunction. And you can do this testing on one side and the other side. You'll probably want to do both. So what we're looking for is eliciting pain and pain on the uppermost side that's being tested. And the point of it is to shear the pelvis um, so we can test the sacroiliac joint. So if you think of where the sacrum is, and then you've got the pelvis, uh, sorry, the ilium on either side. So we're bringing one ilium up and the other one back to cause tons of stress through the middle. Let's go through it and it's gonna make a lot more sense. So if we're thinking about shearing the SIJ, we're gonna want the leg that's on the bed to be slid all the way up into flexion. And we're gonna ask our patient to grip and hold that. So the next bit, we've got one ilium going up that way. We want the one on top to come back. So we're just going to do what looks similar to Ober's or passive hip extension, bring it into hip extension. So we're gonna pull through this way until we get to the end range. If we reproduce our patient's pain and it's on the uppermost side, we have some evidence to suggest that they do have a sacroiliac dysfunction. But you wanna put this with your other clusters of SIJ tests to confirm this. Do we like this test? Do we use it? Well, it's not a bad one, for sure. It's, um, it's useful if you're suspecting an SIJ thing. Um, I wouldn't say I use it all the time in clinical practice, but if you're not sure and you really wanna talk and play around with SIJ tests, I definitely go for it. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon on Clinical Physio.